What's the deal, man? I'm freezing my balls off out here. I hope you're not here to rub me into any more of your shenanigans. I'm full of surprises. What you got up your sleeve this time, Houdini? Now wait a damn minute, can I sit down? Whatever, man, I got some shit to do. I'll be sure to keep it brief. Just let me compose myself, man. It's like a 20 minute drive from a Paul's place to yours. Hey, before you run me into something we both know about, hey, can I get you a drink or something? No, nah, man, I got a big gulp in the car. Hungry? Mama's been in the kitchen all morning making some cornbread that'll fill you up. No, nah, man, I'm good. Now, now, just give me a chance to explain. Whatever. Lay it on, my man. I'm all ears. Listen up, Greg. We got some planning to do. It, it, the start of our lives is right around the corner, and do you have the slightest idea of what the plan is? Destined for failure. Losers for life. I don't know, man. Now, we please get to the point of your visit? I ain't got time for I'm that. I'm painting a picture for you, damn it! Well, hurry the hell up, then. You're over here in my home calling us damn losers, saying we're destined to fail. Just get to the point of your visit, man. Listen, Greg. The point is we got nothing planned for us. Deer in headlights about to be splat. Now you calm down, man. So you come in here acting all anxious and shit, slamming your fist on my furnishings, and all I see you're rambling and making me anxious, goddammit. That's the wake-up call you need, my friend. Playtime's over. It's time for the real world now. And that's where my plan comes in. Well, all right. The floor is yours. Well, all right. Now we talking. <laughs> Even if we don't get into any fancy schmancy colleges, we want... No, no, no. We need a cushion. I agree. Keep going. Now, this is where you're going to get uninterested, but you got to hear me out. Oh, hell. Here it comes. What you got for me today? Now, it ain't no bank and it ain't no convenience store, but it definitely ain't on the right side of the law. Jesus Christ, man, I should expect this from you. Now, before you exaggerate about yourself, let me finish, okay? Fine, go on. Great. Now, you're gonna need to put your thinking cap on for this one. It's a real loud one. Jesus right? Christ, man, I don't go all day. I know, I know. Just listen. What is our main priority as of this moment? You mean besides you leaving my mom's house? God dang it, man. Shut the hell up. I'm talking money, see? I'm talking fast cars, lovely ladies, fancy meals. Uh, ain't no more McDonald's bullshit from now on. We gonna be eating at Burger King. Vince, Burger King ain't even that much more expensive. The point is we need some green, man. Some cash in our pockets. Dough. I, I, I was thinking. Never a good sign, but whatever. We need some money now, but how are we gonna get it? No one's gonna hire two knuckleheads who barely graduated high school. We both hate the elderly. Elderly hates us, so helping them do yard work or something is out of the question. Yeah. So where are you going with this, Vince? I'm starting to think the only way we gonna get anywhere is through criminal activity. No, sir, I'm not interested. Jesus, Greg, don't be a little bitch. Man up and hear me out. Man, I don't want nothing to do with this. This is your territory, Vince, not mine. Just give me a chance to explain. If you don't like what you hear, fine. I'll leave. We can forget I even mentioned it. I want a chance. <laughs> Thank the Lord, we got one generous SOB after all. Don't push your luck, Vince. All your buttons seem to be pressed anyway. What do I gotta lose? Like I was saying, I'm not talking murder or anything. No one's gonna die on this one. It's just a small job, quick and easy, painless. I I'm just thinking a little stealing, that's all. Just a small heist. Man, this shit better be microscopic for me to even consider. Man, this is more or less smaller than a bird's ass. I'm talking teeny tiny. Man, your brain is smaller than a bird's ass if you think I'm even going to consider doing this. You said I could get one attempt, and I'm not even finished yet. So let me, hear me out, before I knock your teeth in, you hear? Now back to what I was saying. 
I was herding cows in the field earlier, and I started to think about us and our financial issues, and what we could do to get some extra change in our pocket. Now, obviously, we aren't taken as God's perfect angels or nothing, so our options are very limited. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Salute. Right, but I figured if anyone could pull off a heist like this, it would be the two of us. Now, Vince, what exactly would we be doing? I mean, don't we need resources to pull off something like this? Now, here's the plan. There's this dude not too far out of town. Um, he just got blessed with a shit ton of, uh, what do you call them? Shelfie pups. Now, uh, how exactly did you hear about this, Vince? I overheard two, uh, young girls talk about it. Over there by the RVs that got burned down a couple months ago. I didn't want to do that job with you neither. My damn eyebrows still haven't grown back in. Damn, but... Greg, I apologize, didn't I? I bought you one of them RV sandwiches and a big gold. Now, Vince, can we please get back to this job? Okay, Jesus. I overheard them talk about how this dude just had an overabundance of Shelfie pups, right? Well, you know that one movie with the dude in Arizona? Uh, the guy who played the ghost rider fella? Yeah, rings a bell. What about it? Well, in the movie, he steals a little fella right out of his baby crib. Well, I see us doing that. Stealing babies? No, dumbass. I'm saying we steal them shelfy pups. Them dogs go for some serious moolah. What just makes you think that we can pull off a stunt like this? Listen, this man is a real old fella. I'm thinking we just hop out of the car, you load them shelfy pups in the trunk. Well, I go in his house and keep watch. Now, this, this man's a real old fella, so he shouldn't wake up. But if he does, I'll just whip out my piece. I'm going to stop you right there. No, sir, I'm not doing this job, man. Especially if an old man's getting popped off. Now, if we were just seeing some barn dogs, that's one thing. But if it turns to you blasting an old man away, then I'm out. That's fine. Now, Greg. No, Vince, I'm not doing it. Greg. Get the hell out of my house! Would you settle down, goddammit? Give me one godforsaken moment to finish! You got one minute before I call the sheriff. You wouldn't dream of it. Besides, you call him, I'll tell him about you and his daughter a few weeks back. Just finish what you gotta say and then head on out. Do you know how much we could get for one of them fur balls? Go on, give a guess. I don't know, man, 75. Higher. A bail? Try again. Hey, I don't know, man, too. Try ten grand. Ten grand? Did I stutter? I don't know, man. Ten grand. Ten grand is a lot of money. Sound good now, doesn't it? Are you sure we'd be in the clear wouldn't get caught or nothing? No one would get hurt. Man, I'm gonna blow my brains out if you keep asking me that. I promise, no one's gonna get hurt. You're sure? I'm talking 100%. Thought it out in everything. Then I guess I'm in. Well, it's about goddamn time. I knew there wasn't any need to convince you, boy. Man, shut the hell up. Now, when are we doing this anyhow? I was thinking 12 a.m. Saturday, we get those dogs in and out, we blow this state free men with nothing to stop us. Hold on, you're thinking of pulling off a heist like this in broad daylight. Are you damn near insane or something? Think about it, dummy. If it's broad daylight, then there's a better chance of him being out of the house, uh, working on the farm, or shoveling cow shit or something. Uh, th th and who else would expect someone to rob someone else? In the morning. That's why it's foolproof. All right, man, I trust you. But you gotta promise this is the last big stunt. After this, we skip town and we never look back. We sell them dogs and we leave. Gotta understand that. I agree wholeheartedly. We got this, man. Ain't nothing gonna stop us. I can't believe I'm agreeing to one of the great Vince's plans, but... What the hell? We got this, man. I trust it. Glad to have you on board, partner. Well, I'll be seeing you later. What about the cornbread? Nah, I'm good, man. I gotta stay limbered up for the big event. I better start counting my blessings now. Christ. Go for Greg. Greg, hey man, how's it going? Shit, man, what time is it? Man, it's almost 10. What are you doing? Still asleep? 
Yeah, yeah man, long night. Vince came over. Vince, what does he want? You know, Vince, he's always got an idea brewing. That's no good. What is it this time? Just a small house, nothing too big. Are you going to go through with it? I, I don't know, man. It pays well, but... I don't know, it's risky. I wouldn't mess with that. Vince can be pretty reckless. Yeah, but I feel like on this one, if I don't go through with it, something bad bound to happen. Yeah, if you don't do the job and some goes down with Vince, hey, it's his own fault, huh? Yeah, but I think I gotta stick with him on this one. Well, it's your funeral, man. Sorry to break it to you, Greg. It'll be quick and easy, Vince said. Yeah, Vince. Thanks for checking in. I'll call you back when, it's, when the deed is done. And it's time, man. See you soon, pal. Bob. Well, God damn it, where the hell is he? Hey there, good buddy. Ready for the start of the rest of our lives? You sure you want to do this, Vince? You know, there ain't no turning back if we do this. It kept me up all night. You nervous at all? Greg, you know what I was thinking about last night? All that money. And what color my new car will be. <laughs> Gotta get in or what? You're something else, Vince. Wouldn't want to be anybody else but myself. Saddle up, partner. Our future awaits. I might get snappy. If you hear a gunshot, it's probably me capping the old bastard. So give us a honk to get us moving out there. Wow. She fine, ain't she? They, they're beautiful. Stop drooling over the dog. Come on, come on. Let's get him in the trunk. Our bad, sir. We'll, we'll just head on out. Shut the hell up, boys. Get on the ground. <laughs> now, sir, wait a minute. Now, damn it. Did I stutter, dumbass? Man, we didn't mean no harm, just let us walk. Damn, Vince, let the man talk. We ain't in deep this time. Bird, listen to your friend, boy. At least one of you's got some brains. Now hold on, you mother. Shut the hell up, dumbass, before you get us both killed. What are y'all doing on my property? Well, you see... Let me do the talking before you get us both killed. Sir, we didn't mean you any harm. We were just looking for some extra cash, and we thought one of your dogs could help. What good would one of these dogs do you for, anyway? Well, I guess the hopes of selling it for 10 racks. 10 racks? I'm confused. What kind of dog is worth 10 grand, dumbass? Must have mistook in a decimal for a comma, I guess. Sorry, sir. We, we didn't mean you no harm. Well, damn. You boys couldn't even pull off the easiest of robbery. What kind of dumbass gonna steal a dog anyway? Today just ain't your day, boys. Now, sir, let's not do anything we gonna regret. We were simply just... <laughs> That'll teach the little bastard. Oh, hell.
Thank you.